Flosstube. Hi Flosstube. I'm Melina. I'm Connie. And we're Count, Count Twice, twice stitch, stitch Once. And this is Saturday, May, May 11th. 11th. <laughs> the day before Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you Happy mothers Happy Mother's Day to you, Mother. Let's see. Let's Mom's see. finally back in town. Yep. So it's been a while since you've seen us because she just got back on Monday this week. Yep. Been busy. Yep. Let's see, we're really busy. Not really, but. <laughs> <laughs> retired. <laughs> Hashtag retired. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. So I think we'll jump right in and yeah. start with our whips. We got lots of whips. Well, well, I have lots of whips. She has lots as, of whips. You know, <laughs> Stitch Mania. I did not participate in Stitch Mania because of Magical Stitches. Um, so I am still in Magical Stitches and I'm still a Hufflepuff. And I just hope that everybody can learn how to adult without having to cause drama about a stitching group that's supposed to be fun. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> so I didn't really participate in the Quidditch stuff because there were a lot of rules and I'm like... I don't know, I get overwhelmed if they, they changed partway through because of whatever and I was like, eh, I'm just gonna start doing the extra credit stuff. So that's what I started. Um, so this I've been working on, this is a chart, I can't remember. I got on Etsy and it's not even on there anymore. And I started it a long time ago for my friend because she loves Parks and Rec and if you recognize any of these quotes from Parks and Rec, that's where they're all from. And I was going to give it to her last summer for her birthday, and clearly I didn't because it's not done and it's still not done, but she's coming to visit over Memorial Day weekend. Is that the one that's coming up? Yeah. Anyway, at the end of May, she's going to be here, so I'm hoping that I can have it done and framed for her to give to her then. And she's also graduating from grad school with a master's in June, so I can be like, happy Birthday slash graduation. Yeah, here's the gift. About how awesome you are. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm hoping I can finish this by the end of May. I just you can. I think I got mad because I kept it's one over one, and I kept putting all the freaking words and, or the letters in the wrong spot. But since last time I finished the orange line, and on down, so that's what I've got done. I have just a few more motifs to do up in this section to finish off. There's like a mermaid and something, and then. There's some more names down there, which they don't go too slow once I get going on it, but it's if I count off and then I have to rip it out. And it was, I kept doing that. So <sighs> the letters would be like down two rows, too low or too, whatever. And so count twice. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> there you go. And this fabric is 28 count Monaco and I coffee tea dyed it myself. So that's that. That's my one whip. That My one whip was the finish which I'll show later because it's FFO'd. And then uh, the other one I've been working on, I didn't bring it with me, is Moonflowers by Mirabilia. And so I've been working on this on this stand that I took the ed legs off so it's easier to show that Dad made for me. So I'm stitching pretty slow on it, but my stitches look better, I think, and I'm learning how to two-handed stitch, so that's been pretty awesome. The issue is this fabric is really hard for me to see, so I think that also slows me down because it's dark and... You can kind of tell that it's an opalescent and dark, so. It's so pretty. But I'm thinking about trying to teach myself how to park when I stitch on it because this has a lot of color changes and I can't count over too far away from where I've already stitched or I get, I jack it up because I can't see on this fabric good enough. I would. So, <laughs> I'm sure. hoping, that maybe if I learn how to park, and it's covered in dog hair because I can set it on where Faith always lays on the couch. Absolutely floss. <laughs> But I think maybe if I try to park it, I could make a little faster progress without having to change colors all the time. But I feel pretty good. It's like almost I her dress, but I think it's a blanket, not really a dress, but whatever. So that's like the main part of her body, and then that's her, her little hair up here. So I'm making progress. You got a lot done. That's pretty big, so you know there's still a lot to go. <laughs> that's my whips. That's your whips. I, most of it was on moon flowers, and I sound like sw I'm stitching a lot slower on that. All right, get ready. Here's my whips. <laughs> <laughs> I have more than 11 whips to show you because, hello, Stitch Mania, and mine is Whip Mania. So here is the first one is Bobbing for Pumpkins. 
I may not get a lot done. How are you, is that all extra fabric? Yeah, I need to cut it off. <laughs> but I kind of didn't want to because it's all it was surged down there. Uh, you know, I was just curious. So, let's see, where is this thing? <laughs> I got I'm gonna get the wild one. her skirt done. Well, not done. Her dress, whatever. You got her ankles Partially done? done. I got her ankles done. <laughs> I had her feet done. I think I had her didn't have her ankles done. I got those done, and then I got part of her broom done. So it's moving. And then. That was day one of Stitch Mania. If you follow me on Instagram or in the Stitch Mania group on Facebook, then you've seen my posts because I post in there every day. And then I also post them in um, the Whip Mania or Year Whip. She has a group called, she had an event in the Year Whips said for whip frenzy for stitch me so that was day one i was trying to go in alphabetical order and for the most part that happened <laughs> and then i messed it all up so i, I was like oh, i don't know what happened this is um cat lessons for people i got well actually i got all of this done because that was in a color, it's not very good paper to hold behind it, but it was um, in a color that was an old DMC color that I had, and the new color was bad. It didn't match it at all. So, and then my daughter, because this is for Alyssa, and she decided she liked the colors that was called for, so I just started doing the call for colors. So I had to rip all the stuff I had out and start over. So that's as far as I got. I was trying to get the cat done, but <laughs> it was too late. And I said, well, I can't do it anymore. It's so over quit. And that was that one. But it will be cute in the called for colors. Chart, cat lesson, people. Sorry about zippers and whatnot. Don't apologize. Okay. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> not sorry at all. <laughs> it's got to put up with them. <laughs> this is Celestial Sun by Mill Hill and Laurel Birch. And. That's as far as I've got. Well, I made a fair amount of progress on that because it's paper. <laughs> My setup at Alyssa's was kind of difficult because at home I have this, um, Meh. I have this, <laughs> she uh, wants you. <laughs> Stop. I Just have this, uh, magnifying light that I actually put between my legs when I'm sitting on my couch with my feet up and then I can see through the little dot. I don't need that with paper, but I need it with everything else. And I couldn't, when Alyssa and her husband go to bed, I usually moved into their office to stitch, but in their office, I couldn't use that light because it, the chair was too short, so I couldn't put it on the chair, and I couldn't put it on the table, because then I couldn't see through the magnifying part. So, when my husband left to go to his brother's to work on his shed, I moved everything in the bedroom. So the bedroom was my cross-stitch <laughs> den. <laughs> oh, so I came in there, and I had cross-stitch, like, all over the place. <laughs> I'm like, welcome to my dinner crusty. <laughs> Here is my next one was Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery. I love, 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 love. And I love working on this 40 count. It's not for you. Fabric. And I got 
that you have a lot done on that one too. I did. I got part of this little motif done and then all that motif done. And I really kept wanted to keep working on it, but once again, it was too late at night. So I had to say goodbye. Two o'clock quick. <laughs> My husband cut me all these little dowel, he cut me these PVC pipe so I could roll my stuff on them. The only problem being is, well, I didn't think about when I'm trying to work with the magnifying glasses, they're, I have to hold them like this so I can see. So they kind of work, but kind of don't. Then the next was Faith. A lot of people on the um, Let's Get Whip Frenzy or somewhere. It's Mania, maybe. I don't know. So they love this chart. Design Works. Have Faith. And I actually made some more variety. I told her when she posted that, I looked at it and I was like, hey, I could actually tell what you did this time. She's so nice to me. <laughs> I got mainly all of these leaves done. The outlines and the Life. inside. <laughs> and the middle of these flowers. You can't really see them that good. So. <laughs> this I'm actually making for a friend of mine that we stayed with last year. And vacation so I just need to get on someday you know it's been like a year ago you need to focus very finish on that one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's my least favorite whip <laughs> I don't know why I don't really care for it that much because it's on Ada probably I don't know why this one frosty weather this one is crazy because it's got a ton of one over one and little half things and but it's really cute and I really wanted to keep working on it too because I wanted to start working on these little bunnies that are one over one down here but couldn't too late at night had to go sleep so that's that that's cute though I like that one Okay, next we have this was actually a new start also. I started six things before Stitch Mania because when she posted Let's Get Whip Frenzy, it was like 19 whips and 19 minutes on each whip or this and that. So I thought, man, I'll just do 19 whips because I had several whips. So I thought that I didn't have enough. So I started like six things. This is... Frankie the Sausage Dog pin cushion, which I got um, from Angie, the hibernation stitcher. Um, I got this much done. Not a lot, but that, that day I didn't have a lot of time to uh, stitch. I, my start was only like three of these stripes, I think, or something. I got the rest done, but I didn't have a lot of time to stitch because your dad is back mm -hmm. in May. <laughs> we had other stuff going on that day. And I started, this was also a new start. Um, Sadie the Spring Witch from Brooks Books. I'm changing her up a little bit. I'm not doing her skin this dark. I'm gonna switch her, do her skin the same color as the Summer Witch skin and then make the Summer Witch skin dark. Because I don't know why the Spring Witch dark and eh, it doesn't really matter, but I thought Spring, you're not really that tan yet. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, she's cute, and I got her hat and broom part. It's a little butterfly and leaves done. And it's on silver. And these were um, spider web roses, which were a pain in the rear. And they got them done. And also, Alyssa was working on this at the same time. She actually got all of her spring witch done, but not the accessory parts. So that's my progress I made on her. Skirt. I can't wait to get her done. But it will have to wait. So start on her. Then I did. I think this is where I was went out of order because I grabbed this one night, this was after I got home, and I grabbed this, and then as I was working on it, I'm like, wait, this is I, and I have H's. Oh well, I was already working on it, so I just kept working on it. Um, it's, if cats could talk, they would probably lie. <laughs> Making this for Alyssa also. It's also on a huge piece of fabric, which I need to cut. And that's my progress on that. I actually had I actually had a bunch of stems done over here and then I had to rip them all out because I counted wrong and so I was mad. But that's what it is. It is what it is. So my progress was talk and part of the cat. It's the bottom part of the cat because I already had done, I had worked on this when I was at Alyssa's. So I had done this flower and a bunch of the stems and the cat up to here and all that. So I got that word talk done and then that part of the cat and then ripped all that out. You gonna help? Where are you going, dog dog? You can help with shoulder stuff. <laughs> We're gonna come up, look at the camera and show everybody how cute you are. Your little buns. And then hidden peck. I I went back to mine. No, I didn't really go back to my right because I worked on. Because oh, I worked on Sadie, the spring witch, at Stitch Night. So I should have been working on this, but. Pin pack by Plum Street Samplers. And I really like this one too. Come on. And it's basically in the called for colors because I got this on. Um, actually in a kit that they had done at Con Country Sample mm. in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Yes, that is it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They had it in a, they had put a kit together for it, so I bought it. Yep. There. Speaking of that, my husband was like, there's a Frank Lloyd Wright house, we should go see it. And I was looking up, because it was in some community college catalog that was near here that they're doing a trip. He's like, we could just go on our own. And so I looked up, I'm like, hey, it's in Spring Green. There's a craft stitch store there. So we got to go on a day when they're open so we can stop by. And he was like, seriously? And we said, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Most seriously. <laughs> Why would you not? Hello. <laughs> really? Why would you not? Okay. This one was actually my whip mania for today. You worked on it already? But I worked on it at... 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> I didn't get a lot done. <laughs> I tried to make sure I didn't sleeping. get that much done. <laughs> it's uh, Halloween rules. 
big chart. So I basically got the butt of the dog. <laughs> what do you stitch? The doggy's tail. <laughs> A butt of the dog. Little doggy butt. So, you know, that one. I'll be working on it more later. But I had to start it. I wanted to do more, but I wanted to do the dog's eyes so it didn't look so creepy with no eyes. Mm -hmm. But they're supposed to be in whitewash, and I must have put whitewash in a different chart because I didn't have it in here. So. Oh, well. I just did the butt. <laughs> so that, I think, is all of the whips that are... That I worked did. on. I have new starts still to show. I you weren't starting anything. Well, I started six things where. Oh, well, it was because you were gone before it was May. Right. Before May 1st, ding, I started ding. six things. So ding, ding. one was Sadie the Spring Witch, one well, was like, Frankie sure. the Sausage Dog. Show your other ones. Okay. Because I don't have. I mean. My other one is, and I just want to take this moment to say, I don't know if I have this picture of this one. Um, Sandy, the summer witch. I also want to take a moment to say that Brooke Books Publishing that does these charts that I like, the, her witches, um, is very, very ill. And she has been having major, major health things. Mm -hmm. um, so they put a, I put it in here. They put an address on, there's the Brooks Books Stitch Along group on Facebook, but they put her address. I can put it in the. And when, Melina can put it maybe in the drop down, but if you want to pause and write it down for people to send cards to. Um, you can send her a card. I'm gonna send her a card because I love her stuff, so. Anyway, I got this much done on Sandy. And I got The crab and the flower and the bucket handle. <laughs> it's very important that you saw that bucket handle. It was. <laughs> very important part <laughs> of Sandy. So, yeah, that's what I got done on her for my start, but she will be coming up later in my whips. And we also started this um, <laughs> this is tiny tiny. This is a really tiny little picture. Um that is called I can't hold still, sorry. <laughs> Sweet Liberty by Shepherd's Bush. I bought it actually when I was at Shepherd's Bush. It came with everything, the buttons and the floss and the fabric. And that was my start. Just a little start. Started with the beehive. So I think I'm gonna try to get a see if I can find that box to put it in. So oh, that'd be cute. Mm -hmm. box. And then my other start was another 
I think I got this at the Count of Needle before they went out of business. Sweet honey. I think I'm going to make those cute. bee scaps. I don't know. Should I make them white? The beehives? Bee houses? <laughs> bee scaps. Whatever. What are they called? Scaps? Scaps. I didn't know that word. S-K-E-P-S. I haven't heard it before. Um, bee house? <laughs> Bee, ha bee ha houses? <laughs> they're not really hives, right? No, they're like the... Like the call them a skip. Like where the bees live when they can yes. pull the things out right. to get the honey. Well, I don't know if I should want to make them, but this is my only start on that, which is the bottom. And Melina had told me to get this chicken wire fabric, but it's really like beehive. So I thought, nah, I'm just going to do them on that. Yeah, well, I oh, looked at it really cute. quick and I thought it looked like chicken wire. And then Mom's mm -hmm. like, no, it's like beehive. And I was well, like, it looked more mm -hmm. hivey. More honeycomb. -ish. It kind of could be both, I guess. It could, but I decided it looked more honeycombish, so I thought I'd do my bees on that. And I like it. <laughs> so, that one will be fun. So, I'm going to put those both in there because they're both bees and they're both in the S. I think that's the only new start that I. Let's see. Oh, well, my other new start was the Winter House Trio. I already had Wendy done. What it look like? <laughs> and I started on the winter section in the middle. I didn't bring the chart with me, and I didn't bring it because, you know, it was the border. Okay. No worries. So that was my uh, lots of whips there. So I had a FFO. Yay! I have a FFO too. So for <laughs> Magical Stitches, they did a little mini competition at the end of April where there was like a couple days and it was to work on your smallest chart or your smallest stitch count in your whip album and you get a, a point per every hundred stitches. I, could, I can't remember all this yeah. stuff. And then if you FFO'd it, you could get 50 points. So I finished it and I FFO'd it. So cute. So it's the little Sunshine Berry, Erica Michaels. I brought the chart down here, but I don't know where I put it. It's probably back there. I can't reach it. It's dang dog. <laughs> <laughs> she wants too much attention. Too much attention. She's such a little baby. There it is. This is it. Oh, my chart looks already looks like it's seen better days. <laughs> <laughs> but I finished it and um, it was pretty easy. So I followed direct the directions in the chart for as far as I put interfacing on the back of it and then use my sewing machine to stitch the, the seam here. Um, and then I hand stitched, gathered the top. And then so I also was watching heartstring samplery had a finishing video on a berry and she hand stitched the whole thing but I was watching her finish the top and her instructions here say to cut a three inch circle and six petal shapes and you could use the chart as the guide for the petal shapes but then the circle was supposed to be the leaves you can see hers is more like yeah looks like a flower on the top but so I said I don't I cut a th circle and I tried to make the edges of the circle look kind of leafy, but it looked weird. It's like, screw it. I'm just going to cut out leaf shapes and sew them together along the top. So that's what I did. I used two different leftover felts I had from some of my um, Bucilla felt kits and made leaves and stitched the leaves together and yeah. put a button on top of them. I think she used wool. Yeah, she used Weeks like. Dye Works yeah. wool. Yeah. So, I mean, I didn't have that, and I wasn't going to order it for a three-inch circle and some petals, so I just made my own. I have some of my own. Not weeks. And I did initially put a different button on the top because I only had so many buttons, and I didn't want to go try to buy one. But then Mom said she had a bunch of vintage buttons from my grandma who passed away, and so I went and looked at her buttons. She and She had a bunch of these. So then I took it buttons. apart and put the... The different button on so well, we a, like that button yeah it's, it's a vintage kind of, button can't really tell in this light but it's kind of yellowy it's, there. Ye it's coming yeah, through right there. there it's yellowy and brown and it matches, matches the flower so but i kind of like it my leaves look a little 
janky, but I, like I feel it. like that makes it look prim and it's or whimsical. More strawberry. So yeah, I love it. So Thank yeah, you. I was excited because I was really nervous about finishing it, but I did it, and now it's done. Yay. I'm gonna play right there so you can still see it. <laughs> My finish is. <laughs> It's funny. But I fully finished my Who's a Scaredy Cat? My Val stuff. It's so cute. I gotta zoom it in. I got those you can little see the, buttons, uh, the star, buttons. star buttons I ordered from 123. And Stitch. the googly eye buttons on no, it are so buttons, funny. The eye buttons came with it, but this is the chart. And then. I thought I was going to have another finish because really cute. when I was at Alyssa's, I was working on these, just hanging out. So everything's done except I ran out of Dahlia Ugh, for the slit. <laughs> Two I, lines. Is it a week's color? I think so. I can look and see if well, I have I ordered it. it. Oh, did you? So. Dang it. So it's still in my 19 whips. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna finish. So that? I will definitely finish that one. <laughs> probably fully finish it on the day that I'm working on it because oh you know, not much left to do. I got the eyes sewn on and all that, so I just have to put the backing and stuff on it. And that was my. Oh, oh I did have another finish, finish, not a fully finish, but. Well, we'll count it as a finish. I don't have any that are just finished. This is fairy wool in the woods. Happy Easter. I changed it all. The colors? All except for the chicken. And the chocolate chicken and bunny. And the white. I think other than that, I pretty much changed it all. <laughs> make it more <laughs> bright colored? I did make it more bright colored because it just seemed dark and it was supposed to be Eastery. And the baskets, I changed those colors. It's cute though. <laughs> they were like blue, a bluish color. And While well, you were doing it all blue fabric. And then since I changed the color and they had it kind of in this polka dot brownish color, so they didn't put any stitches they you know like the basket part that was just left open but I put a different color in there so that looked more woven and then I changed the bunny's tail to be more rounded and they had it being like kind of brown and white and kind of sticking up bunny and I liked it and I changed the bunny color and I changed his cheek to be pink and his ear, to, inside ear to be pink. I changed the flowers on the top to be purple instead of yellow. It's so cute. I like it. It's really cute. So, I got a FFO at some time, but I don't know when. That was my... That's your finish? That's my finish. No. All right. Oh. So since last time we filmed, I had a birthday and the next day. And I had no, a birthday. No, we filmed after your birthday. Oh, well, we filmed after my birthday, but I didn't get all my birthday stuff because no, cause she for me, ordered I ordered me something from Russia. Russia. And, and then Alyssa was just waiting till I got there to give me my birthday present. And Melina's birthday present. So so all this stuff that I'm about <laughs> to show you is not purchases made by me personally. These were no. all presents. So yep. no judgment <laughs> from my birthday. So mom got this, which she said was good for people for going to the retreat. So you could put your chart on it. And yes, thanks to Kathy from To Die House because she showed this on her floss tube. And she said a lot of people at the retreat she went to had these. So she chart. bought one. So I thought, ooh, yeah, that would be a good idea because, you know, we were sitting at the tables and so I thought that so would be, like a, it came with the ruler, with the magnet one. and all you that. Stick your little chart on there. Stick your needle miners on everything there. Everything you need. And actually, I took it to Stitch Night 
Thursday and used it there because I was stitching on moonflowers on my lap stand so it was hard to manage everything because I tried to stick the chart on it out but it's too small. Mm -hmm. So it was really helpful because I was doing the same thing the week before and like flinging my chart all over the place and now it was like right there in front of me and the lap stand was on my lap so it yeah. was easy to kind of manage both things. So and then I should get one of those giant magnets your dad got that are like yeah. bigger than a quarter and then you can pop your scissors and stick yeah, them Yeah, that's there a good too. idea. Because then mom also got me these little mini scissors, <laughs> which I have the, some of these in yellow, but I love these. I want ones for all my bags, but then you could just pop them. Yeah. You know, they kind of just stick on that magnet. Like kind really. of, that's not a very good magnet, really. Yeah. But, so it's working already, so I know it will be good for the retreat. Yeah. So we're going to take them when we go on retreat, because I bought one for me and bought one Nancy for Nancy posted on. The group, eight weeks. I know. Eight weeks. I was like, I read yeah. that this morning and I was like, turkey. I better work. I almost said a bad word. I better work on my, um, I better work on my. Turkey feathers. My small because it's not finished stitching and I need to put it together and wah. So I got to yeah. get moving on I that. I got to get moving on my other thing. <laughs> so. um, this is the one piece of haul that I did buy. So they had these in sets of five, like all color, five colors, like yellow, orange, green, pink, and I don't know if that was fine, but whatever. So it has a pen that twists out, but this end has a highlighter in it. And then this end you can use on your touch screen and it's like a, you know, it does the, so I love it. I bought like two packages and I wish, should have bought the whole entire row they had in the store. They were on clearance at Menards. So if you have a Menards. <laughs> They go were, there they were in, in ours they were by the <laughs> clearance section uh, like a clearance end cap that was right by like the lighting area and light bulbs so i, I don't they're still under i don't know why they were there but that's where they were and i you love them go get some. you should because i love them so that was the one piece of haul that i well no i'm lying because also i'm working on moonflowers and i can't freaking see it so i was like i need to do something about my lighting situation so i ordered this little clip on light it's got a clip on it but it also balances on the table if you wanted to set it up I don't know how far out you could extend it before it would fall over but it's got pretty good light on it yeah, got three levels bright. um I just like it because it's bright and it gives you a good range with this nice little circle so it doesn't have a magnet no it's, that's it's just, just a, open but but so that was, I'm like, I'm going to try it. So Amazon, like $13 if you're interested. Let me know. I can send you a link. And then I got this little, really cute. My husband was like, that's really Don't nice. Blind. No. <laughs> so, whatever. It's got buttons on it. So you, you can do it like, uh, there's like a normal like floodlight or there's like a spotlight section. Or you can turn them both on so it's like a spot and a flood. And then they both have it. So there's three levels there. And it goes around your neck. And you can point it. So then I've been putting this one behind my mirabilia and then this one on the front of it and and I can see a lot better. So those were awesome. my purchases of lights, which if you're interested, I got them both on Amazon. This one I think I just searched for around the neck light and there's like 87 different varieties you can find. Maybe, so those were good purchases. I needed more lighting once I got this one first and I turned it on and I was like, how was I stitching on this sitting on the couch without a light? I and her light. Know. That she has by her couch is pretty good, too, yeah. So it's, it's just hard to see on that fabric. And then the other things Mama got me is two mirror, and this one is Lady of Mystery. And then Renaissance Mermaid. Oh, pretty. So then my mom brought these that are from my sister, which is awesome and she got me one of the lizzie kate jingles it's the joy to the world one i don't have all those on my list but i don't i thought they would just make cute ornaments i don't yeah. think i wanted to stitch them all together yeah. that was cute I like the snowflake in the middle mm -hmm. and then from la di da she got me something wicked which i love that chart because it's got the big long shoe on it it's so cute And then she got me Nora Corbett Eva or Ava, Eva. I don't know how you want to say it. Eva, that's how I say it. And I know I've seen people staging her on the fabric that like, it's got the moon on it. Oh, that'd be awesome. So that'd be really cute. Yeah, and she yeah, got me Anna. So two of the Bewitching Pix Pixies group. 
cute. They're cute. I love them. So those are from her. And then my husband is crazy. And so after we went out to dinner on my birthday, I wanted to go to Target. And so we went to Target and I was just kind of wandering around. And where you look you were looking for those purses. Yeah. They didn't have no. Them. And so I was sucky yeah, Target. Yeah. So <laughs> then I was like Okay, well, I'll just look at some clothes, and I found a couple. So he bought me, like, three or four shirts and said, Happy birthday. I didn't get you anything, so here's some shirts. And I was like, cool, thanks. Then he comes over, like, a week later and throws a package on my lap and says, Here's your birthday present. And I was like, what do you mean? He, he forgot that he bought me stuff at Target, so he bought me other stuff. From work. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> oh, I so he got me the lavender and lace. Um, It's a... Celtic Autumn. I love those. I probably will do her if with a color conversion because I don't really think those colors look super autumn-y, but... And then, what am I want? I want Plum Street Samplers Turkey Sausage. Oh, those are so cute. I want all of those. Those are so funny. <laughs> I want them stuff. all. And then he went nutso on the Mirabilia's. So he got me Gypsy Mermaid. Which I'm not mad at it. <laughs> <laughs> no. And Aphrodite Mermaid. And Mermaid Un Undine. Undine? I don't know how you say that. <laughs> Undine. Is that how I say it? And I think he got me this one too. But it was in the pile, so I'm assuming he did because I don't think I mixed it up yet. And it's Siren and the Shipwreck. But if I've shown that before, then he didn't. But I think he did. Yeah, I think he did. I don't remember seeing her. So he took down my, I needed, I think I said seven or eight more mermaids, and he got me four of them, so that's pretty awesome. Really? So that was all my haul. So I got a lot of mirrors to stitch here. Mm. Like, this is crazy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay my haul. <laughs> I bought the sand. Same as Melina's. Actually, these are fairly inexpensive. I think I got it at one, two, three stitch. It works good. You can put it this way. But these magnets aren't very magnety because I know I have one no, of these that must have fell off in my bag that I took to stitch night. Magnety, so. But I figured if I put a needle minder on there, that would yeah. be real mag yeah. magnety. Yep. And then my thing, my birthday present from Melina and her husband Mike, they got me. Al Forest Embroidery, this whale. Oh, I love this. And it comes with this the Al Forest Embroidery. I ordered it the first day. But everything's... The English website was announced. In Russian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got it when the English website was announced. So like, some of the stuff was in... But it came with this needle minder and the needle. The floss. And the linen. Which is kind of a yellowy. Yeah, it's, it's kind, kind of showing hard. up it's pretty, pretty good. good. So that is awesome. The chart is huge. The chart, and it looks, it's a good looking chart. I mean, not that we're going to show it, but it's big. No, I'm not going to show it, but you can I mean, tell, you can see through it a little section. bit. This yeah. is the sections of the chart. And then there's two other ones. But it's have, printed really good, so. Yeah, so I shouldn't have a problem with it. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you, Mila. You're welcome. welcome. I love it. And then Alyssa's present to me was more of my sons that I'm going to work on and hang on my socket. So this one is Celestial Blue. Celestial Blue. And Sister Sun Brother Moon, Audrey Stitchy Witch 42 is stitching this. She's going to put it on uh, top of a box. So I'm just going to frame mine and put it on my soffit with all my other ones. And then she got me this cute little tiny modernist. It's a mermaid life. 
And she told me she wanted to stitch this too, but she's nervous about it because it's on fabric and she's never stitched anything on fabric. Well, I think we might get her some Ada and, yeah. and send it to her with a she could. chart that she can do it. Because Ada's, she's done it on paper, so Ada's yeah. pretty similar to paper. I, and then she can start on the Ada. Or maybe send her another little thing on Ada and then... She, I think she'd be. I think she could do fine. She'd be fine. It was like me. I was scared to start on right. real fabric for some reason, and then it was easier than I thought it was gonna be. But I love them. Love, love, love. All of them. All of them. So, thank you to my daughters for my lovely <laughs> birthday. Then my friend Cindy gave me this. She got it at um, our thrift store. Um, they had a bunch of charts in there, so she gave me this because she said she does not like Santa's. Ooh. Thank you, Cindy. I have stuff from the thrift store, too. So cute. I like it. It'll be a cute ornament. And then I want, well, my other sister, Vicki, gave me these counting pins that she made. They're adorable. Little bunny, little owl, and then butterfly. So cute. Thank you, Vicki. And then, exciting, I won a giveaway from Kathy of To Die House. She was giving away a um, samurai dragon pattern as she's stitching the three dragons for Game of Thrones and sent me a nice little note but this is the chart from Firewing Designs so someday I will have to be sticking up the dragon thank you Kathy that is awesome I never usually win anything so I was excited <laughs> And then I went to the thrift store at Alyssa's and got all of these cross-stitch magazines. Ooh, I gotta look at those. Vintage. And there's a, some charts in some of them that I wanted. All but, 324 no, colors for $25. Really, all of these magazines and this chart. 89 cents for everything for all of it Jeez. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were going to be at least a quarter a piece or something but she said 89 cents and i'm like here's a dollar keep the change <laughs> uh, there, you know this was the chart it has all these little tiny motifs they're like 51 by 45. Ooh, I, I like this that little bunny one was cute and showed a pineapple and a bunny. Mm, got a pineapple. There you go. Cute. I like that pineapple one. So I thought well, somebody might want to stitch them. So I thought I could take them to the retreat, put them on the free table, if nothing else. So. Yep. Be good. I forgot about my thrift store stuff. Thrift store. So I buy whatever fabric is there because it's so cheap. So I got these two Adas. This is why I was thinking we could kit something oh, yeah. up. Because we could dye one of these for Alyssa to go yeah. in the chart. Yep. And that way it wouldn't be so boring, Ada. Yeah. And I also got this bag, which I didn't even open it. But it's full of fabric. I don't, it mostly looks like it's Ada. Yeah. And they had some DMCs. So I usually buy whatever DMCs they <laughs> Yep. <laughs> then I got this um, Mill Hill Snow Charmer kit. And it doesn't have the paper in it, but I know you can buy the paper, but it's got all of the extra floss and beads that were in it. So I'm pretty sure you probably would be able to make, make do with most of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even open it. Little pieces. Yeah. And then they have this Erica Michaels. Live Simply. And this chart, which again, I was like, I don't know if I would stitch it, but I could take it to the freezing table. Somebody might like it. If the shoe fits. 
get the hat to match. <laughs> Those are what I got. So awesome. It's like eight dollars or something for all this stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. our, our uh, thrift store isn't quite as thrifty. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, that's okay. Oh, did I show this? Oh yeah, I got this waxing moon design. Live simply. Simply live. Yep. So, I figured, what the hey? <laughs> God, I got that stuff. I put it upstairs in my closet already. <laughs> That's all I have. I mean, well, I have. Except for I did watch several new Floss Tube people. I watched Floss Tube, but <laughs> I didn't keep track of it. Well, I only, well, I mean, I kept track of <laughs> most of it, but I'm not talking about all those people because, you know, they're the same people that I always watch. But I watched some new people, so I will talk about the new people that I watched. I watched Country Junction, episode one. Um, this is a mom and her two daughters. They live in Iowa. She actually, ha her name is Joe. Joe's Country Junction, that was what it is. Joe actually um, has a lot of YouTubes, but they're quilting YouTubes. So she's been doing YouTubes for a long, long time. This was the first floss tube. Um, Joe and Kelly are both quilters, and then Kayla knits and crochets. Um, Joe's husband was diagnosed with lung cancer, so she had a lot of stuff that she stitched on when she was in the hospital. And then Joe or Kelly has a new baby. And Kayla did a baby blanket car seat cover size thing that she crocheted or knit or one of those. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm not real, real. But actually, Joe also, I thought this was funny. She tea dyed some fabric while she was in the hospital. <laughs> she wanted to tea dyed so her husband was in the hospital she was sitting there so she just decided she would tea dye some fabric while she was there so she did okay. I thought that was pretty cool <laughs> but they were fun they were they were a lot of fun they were laughing and having a good time with their floss tube they were really cute <laughs> so I don't know if they've done another one because I went and checked later to see if they did another one but they hadn't done a new one so I don't know then another person I watched, which was new to me, was Vicki Snyder Hartwell. She is reading and stitching, and she is one of the magical school of magical stitches and literature. She's the now. She what? She left? No, she's the... Oh, she's the one? The one that stayed. Oh, okay. So, she stayed. I mean, they had big... To do in magical stitches, you know, people grow up or leave, whatever. <laughs> so anyway, they, she, it was that, and she had a lot of stuff that she was showing, so. Um, another new person I watched was Primitive Stitcher. Um, she was showing her Stitch Mania plans, the one that I watched. She was new to me, so she also had lots of stuff. But her plans for Mania were due at Stacy Na Stace, Nash Primitives Stitch Mania. So she had 27 starts, and they were all Stacy Nash Primitives that she was working on. So they were cool, but that was a lot. She had a lot. Um, another person I watched that was new to me was Lollipop Stitches. Um, she had this awesome intro that was like a movie trailer. <laughs> it was really cool. I would go watch her just for that alone because it was really awesome. And then, um, she was working on a Cricut Collection October and she had tons and tons of Disney stuff hanging all around. It was awesome. Um... She's in a sow with 
Gary, the Sunshine, from Gary, the, from Gary, Gary from the Sunshine Stitcher. She's in a cell with him. Um, and she just, she had tons of Disney stuff hanging all over her walls and well, she talked a lot about TV stuff that she likes to watch, but she was interesting. Then I watched Java Girl Stitches, and I don't think I, I maybe have watched her before, but I don't remember if I did. She was talking a lot about Disney and her sons, and she had some really cute FFOs. One was a bee pattern from Frosted Pumpkin, and she put that on this grate. And then she was working on Summer Whirly Gig, Heart and Hand, and that stuff. But she had some really cute finishes, so go check her out. She was working on this pillow for the 4th of July, and she was also working on Henpeck, I think. Yeah, Henpeck, on 25 count. And then she was talking about Stitch Mania plans, too, so... She was in fun to watch. I think that was the only new people that I watched. Other than that, you know, I watch a lot of people, or I try to. Can't always fit them in. I could watch a lot of floss tube while my husband was not at my daughter's because, you know, nobody was there. They were at work. I was there by myself. So other than cooking dinner and getting my 15,000 steps a day. <laughs> I can do whatever. So I did. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much thank for you. watching and subscribing, liking, commenting, and we appreciate all of it. Yes, and we do. We will probably not be so long in between again because mom's back in town for a little while. Back in town. So we'll be together. We can make videos and we'll talk to you guys later. Yes. Thank you all. Have a wonderful, have a happy Mother's Day, Mother's Day, and we <laughs> Thank Bye. you. And good night. <laughs>